so we will go through the first lecture of cad cam subject so we see the importance of cad cam introduction to cad cam what is computer graphics so we will go through this so what is the objective so in this lecture we will explore what the computer graphics is about and survey some applications areas so we will start with the historical introduction so what is computer graphics so computer graphics deals with the all aspects of creating images with a computer so in generally what happens in cad cam if you will go through the design process so first we get some idea then we convert that idea into reality so why, where the computer can be used in which uh, step that is the role of computer in the product design so in the CAD part we will uh, study the modeling techniques what are the different techniques for modeling and in CAM part how we will manufacture the design part so that is CAM so CAD can be the combination of designing and manufacturing so in the design product design phase CAD can be used in the uh, this designing part then analysis part also so in basic uh, what are the requirements for the CAD what is hardware requirement, what is software requirement ok so in that case uh, we will go through the computer graphics uh, hardware, software and uh, application part so for example how, why where from this image came from ok what hardware, software did we uh, notice how can we produce this image so this is the form of CAD so application uh, where we can use the application of CAD so the object of an artist uh, is the son of an animation to be shown in the domain environment planetarium like this software maya for modeling rendering so that is the software we can use for the CAD part and for the hardware part PC is the graphic card for modeling and rendering is required <coughs> so this is the basic graphic system this is input device and that is this then producing part then output device so input device like keyboard mouse this plotter then a uh, output is the monitor plotter printer okay so in be from the conversion of input into output there is some uh, mediator that is your intermediate device like uh, processor memory frame buffer so that is the processing part then CRT means output means uh, where we can display the output that is the CRT that's what uh, oscilloscope as, uh, there that's what the T oscilloscope so can we use either for line drawing device or display okay so CRT is one of the component for the output printer so if you go for history in the 1950 to 1960 so computer graphics goes back to the earliest days of computing strip charts pen plotters simple display using audio also this allow digital computer to go from computer to calligraphic CRT cost of replace for CRT is too high computers are slow, expensive, unreliable so in the old days uh, that was computer was very slow and, and expensive if you will go from uh, 1960 to 1970 so then the concept of wireframe graphics came so we can draw only the outer lines that is through wireframe only a sketch pad was there, display processor was there, storage tube was come into picture so you can see this is a wireframe representation of a sun object okay so as what is a sketch pad so a sketch pad means a potential for man machine interaction is there say suppose you want to display something that how can you light pen how can computer generate that new display so the, this a sketch pad came into picture for these purposes next is display processor so display processor is uh, having the more post computer try to replace display using a special purpose computer called a display processor so display processor display list is there CRT is there so graphics are stored in display list is display processor host compiles display list so that view a storage tube so it is dictated by tectronics so that view a storage tube will not require constant refresh it was standard in the interface to computers so it was allowed for a standard software plot 3d in portrait so it was relatively inexpensive 
so open door to use your computer graphics for CAD committee then if you will go for in the history of computer graphics uh, in 1970 to 1980 so raster graphics came into picture so beginning of graphics uh, standards came into picture like GKS European effort it becomes ISO 2D standard then core North America American effort 3D it is 3D but fails to become the ISO standard so in 1970 to 1980 work stations also came play played a role in the designing part PCs also came into picture so there are two types of representation of graphics one is raster graphics and one is random graphics random machine graphics <coughs> so in raster graphics the image is displayed in the form of pixel so image is produced by arrow array the raster of picture elements so in the form of pixel the image is displayed so raster can display based on intensity control of pixel in the form of a rectangular box called a raster on the screen so information of on and off pixels is stored in the replace buffer or frame buffer so televisions in our house are based on raster scan method so the raster scan system can store information of each pixel position so it is suitable for realistic display of objects so raster scan provides a refresh rate of 60 to 80 frames per second so in raster scan frame buffer comes into play frame buffer is also known as a raster or bit web in frame buffer the positions are called picture elements or pixel so beam refreshing is of two types first is horizontal refreshing and secondly vertical replacing so when the beam starts from top left corner and reaches the bottom right scale it will again return to the top left side and vertical as it is then it will again move horizontally from top to bottom call a horizontal retracing so there are two types of uh, raster scan interlacing interlaced scanning or non interlaced scanning okay so uh, what is happening in the case of raster scan the disadvantage is that it is low resolution it is expensive so uh, this is raster scan so allows us to go from lines in wireframe images called to fill the polygons then what is random scan so random scan is that where we use an electron beam which operates like a pencil to create a line image on the CRT screen so in the random scan there is no need of frame buffer so the picture is constructed out of a sequence of straight line segments so each line segment is drawn on the screen by injecting the beam to move from one point on the screen to the next where its x and y coordinates define each point after drawing the picture the system cycles back to the first line and design all the lines of the image 30 to 60 times each second okay. so what is, if you will go in a table form what difference between the random scan and raster scan random scan has high resolution while raster scan has less resolution so random scan is more expensive raster scan is less expensive Modification is easy in the case of random scan, while modification is tough in the case of raster scan. So solid pattern is tough to fill in the random scan, but easy to fill in the, in the raster scan. So the refresh rate in the random scan depends on the resolution, but in case of raster scan, the refresh rate does not depend on the picture. So in the case of random scan, no, there is no need of frame buffer, but in the case of raster scan, there is need of frame buffer. So what is PC and workstations? Although we, although we no longer make the distinction between work and PC, but in history they evolved from different routes. Early workstations were work tried by network connection, client server model, high level of interactivity. Early PCs can include frame buffer and memory also. So it was easy to change contents and create images. If you will go in the history of computer graphics in the 1980 to 1990, so more reality came into picture so the the model was looking more really real so due to a smooth setting environment mapping okay if you uh, go in the 98 to 1990 so there are special purpose hardware came silicon graphics geometry engine vlsi implementation of graphics pipeline industry based standard came into picture like phies render man signature graphics 10 window system, human computer interface. After 1990 to 2000, Open GL APY was coming. Community computer interface features were successful. Toy Story was successful. New hardware community of the system came into picture. The texture mapping, bending, accumulation, stencil buffers. <coughs> so after 2000, then photorealism 
the more reality picture was coming graphics cards for the pc were dominating in the market like nvidia ati so these are the graphics companies so it came into picture in the personal computers also game boxes and game players by determining market direction so there is more demand for game box game players so which are more which driven the market computer graphics routine uh, in the movie industry so there was in the after 2000 the use of computer graphics in the movie industry came into uh, picture for the high level also like maya uh, light wave so animation and uh, pictures in cartoons also came into picture so there are more use of computer graphics in the movie industry took place in the after 2000 so then pipelines also were programmed programmable so different pipeline designs were coming into picture in CAD with the hello card pipeline industry they have benefited in the to the most in the after 2000 so mobile computing came into picture iphone uh, covered the most market cloud computing amazon web services virtual reality oculus rift artificial intelligence big data deep learning google car so all things came into picture after 2010 so these are the different applications of cad cam cad especially in after 2000 and 2010 that took into the picture so in summary what you can we can say that computer graphics is responsible for displaying art and image data effectively and meaningfully to the consumer computer graphics allows the physician to interpret this large amount of data in new and easily useful ways <coughs> So, several basic elements of graphic design are line, shape, color, texture, type, space, image. Okay, so there are two types of computer graphics raster graphics, where each pixel is totally defined, as in digital photograph, and vector graphics, that is random graphics, where we use mathematical formulas to use the draw the lines and shape, which can be interpreted as the viewers into polygon graphics. Okay, so uh, how the CAD and CAM change the industry, so that we have discussed in short. So CAD, CAD CAM especially if you will go there are two types of menu, and drawing manual and as well as CAD CAM. So for a sketching purpose if you draw the manual so it is very difficult to edit the that drawing. So if we use the CAD so we can easily modify and easily uh, do the modification according to the requirement in the CAD. So CAD is employed at our level system level then functional level also and then the whole uh, this organization level also we can apply that is scared to this for us so uh, in uh, organization level what we do we sit at the same time at say one place and we are seeing the uh, work floor at all places so that is the use of CAD and after this uh, CAD drawing is done how we convert that uh, CAD drawing into useful part usable part so first we uh, do we analyze the CAD drawing by the LC software FEA there also a computer used so in the whole product design process from the idea into uh, prototype development how the computer is utilized in the that is called the CAD and CAM principle so in the starting plan before the uh, product goes into the sub floor whatever the requirements of the computer that it comes to CAD part and after when the uh, this uh, part goes into the manufacturing then from there CAM takes into picture is a, is a CNC machine FMS machine manufacturing system so this whole circuit is combined into two parts CAD and CAM okay first two first two uh, this uh, lectures first two units will be from the CAD and after that we will go through the CAM so how this uh, different models of CAD how transformation how can we move the object from one place to another how can we uh, scale it away reflection transformation so that all things come in, will come in the CAD part okay so in the same uh, way we have started this uh, start this subject so later on we will go through the computer hardware what are input devices output devices in the next class okay thank you have a nice day thank you for the uh, attentive listening you can contact me or you can email me for the queries thank you